China City News, Channel 17. Here today we are going to be talking about ancient Chinese topics. Today I will be talking about early inventions of China. Today we have a special guest with us that knows a lot about ancient Chinese inventions and his name is Sean. Hi Sean, welcome to the show. Thanks Sean Paul for having me on the show. So Sean, what can you tell us about ancient Chinese inventions? Well, ancient Chinese inventions were close to what we make now in modern day, like everyday paper, paste, silk, and books that were called scrolls. In. They also invented some things of their own, like the sundial, which helped us use shadows from the sun to tell the time of day, and the seismograph, which helped measure the strength of an earthquake. They also invented comp the compass, movable typewriting, gunpowder, alcohol, and the mechanical clock. Did they have anything to cure diseases? Yes, they had something called acupuncture, which we use in modern day to relieve pain and cure diseases. They used thin, sharp needles that insert through the skin in certain areas to relieve pain. As you can see, China has made a lot of inventions in the past that helps them in modern day. Have you ever wondered how to make oracle bones? Well, if you did, then you're in luck because it's exactly what we were talking about in this commercial. This broadcast has been brought to you by Oracle Bones. Oracle Bones trace back to 1350 BC and it was the earliest examples of Chinese writings that would try to predict the future and talk to relatives that passed away for advice. This is what it looks like when it's all finished. So some things you will need is just a blank piece of paper and a pencil or a sharpie. So the first thing you wanna do when you make it, it's make an oval and then search up some ancient Chinese writing and then like draw it, draw an oval here, draw like these lines in some Chinese writing and then you'll have yourself an oracle bone resemblance of what an oracle bone looks like and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the commercial break and today we'll be talking about ancient Chinese dynasties. Today we have a special guest with us today and there's a thing or two about ancient Chinese dynasties and his name is Julio. Thanks for having me on the show. We always love having guests on the show. Can you please tell us something about ancient Chinese dynasties? The first dynasty that comes to my mind is the Shang Dynasty. Not only did the last 600 years, but also during its rule it had 30 different emperors and the last emperor being Emperor Zhu. Okay, very interesting. Can you tell us more? The Zia Dynasty is another popular dynasty. This dynasty lasted 500 years, but it only had 17 rulers, unlike Shang's 30 emperors. He was the first emperor of the Zia Dynasty. He is very powerful, but after his death, his son Qi took over the throne, and he began to rule. It's crazy how you know this on the top of your head. Can you do one more dynasty, please? Yes, I will say one more because I love this show. Great. Let's talk about the Han Dynasty and the Lu Emperors. One of the rulers for the Han Dynasty was Louis Bang. He was the first ruler of the Han Dynasty, and he also was the one who created the dynasty. Louis Bang uh, renamed himself Emperor Guazu. One of the things that they made was paper. How did they make that paper? It was that they dipped the screen into a pulp of rice and straw and then tree bark. Then, and dyeing the pulp of rice, uh, they made paper. Now the crazy thing is that they did not use the paper to write documents, they used it mainly to wrap fish with the paper. Now for the last thing the dynasty uh, for the last thing that the dynasty did was that they joined a rebellion they joined a rebellion against Jin. After defeating Wang Wang, they established they established the <laughs> coming out on the show today and telling us a lot about three different dynasties. Oh Mike, it was a pleasure being on this news channel. So that will do today for the China City News Channel 17 and we'll see you guys tomorrow.